Hey guys, this is Brandon at The Edge Pro, and today we're going to talk about just some basic maintenance on the electric cleaner company K92 forced air dryers. Uh, this is going to translate to some very su a few different similar brands of dryers, um, but I'm just going to call it call it the K92 for the yeah. sake of this video. Um, today we're going to talk about the filters. Uh, I have a new filter and an old filter here. Um, this is our old filter. This is the new filter. And this old filter has been cleaned up. It's not not covered in hair, but um, this is a super important part to these clippers. Uh, first thing is is that um, these dr the dryers need airflow in them, and so if this is all caked and packed with hair, you're not getting good airflow. That's going to affect one your output of airflow, uh, and then two it's going to overheat your motors more quickly and, and start to deteriorate other components to the dryer. Um, so if we can have good airflow by keeping this clean, uh, regular regularly clean the filter is going to be um, a very uh, beneficial thing for the life of the dryer. Um, another thing that's really important is less obvious to find out or less obvious to see is there can become we can end up getting a breakage in it. Uh, so on this one right here we have this plastic frame has broke um, and that wouldn't be a problem as long as airflow could not come through but I don't know if you can see it there. There's a couple holes up there right by that break. And so what that's gonna do is allow a lot bigger pieces of air, or a lot bigger pieces of hair and dander come through, which is gonna uh, inadvertently get sucked through the dryer, um, through both motors, and probably end up coming out the other side as well um, on what would probably be a clean dog as well <laughs> at the same time. Um, so here's what that looks like from the other side. So as long as our filters don't end up having this tear in it like that um, we'll a lot of times go ahead and just take these off the dryer and uh, scrub them down and then blow them off with some air and uh, that gives us a nice uh, filter that, that will filter air again um, even though this one has been cleaned up you can see through them pretty well and it almost is identical on what you can see through the one dryer the this used one isn't quite as transparent as the new one is but you can see that there's still good airflow that can get through this but because of that break in that one corner where the, it's torn the filter we would go ahead and actually replace this filter um, it's just a simple little little maintenance piece that can end up prolonging the life of a uh, very usually an expensive investment um, on your part um, so just a reminder for you guys make sure you're changing your filters uh, they're super easy to change you just they just snap right onto the back. That's all there is to it. Snap on, snap off, clean it, scrub it, make sure there's no tears, put a new one on. If you did that, maybe monthly or, or even less uh, would be, um, sorry, or even more often, uh, that would be great and would really help prolong the life of your dryer. Um, so hopefully you find this helpful and uh, we can go out there and, and make sure we have clean filters on these on the dryers. Uh, if you if you did find this helpful, definitely hit the thumbs up button, uh, subscribe to our page, and uh, hopefully you'll see more videos like this one. 